Не е идеята, че е важна, а парите, които има една фирма, което сложене не допустим. И второ, не е това положение, нека това, което искате да чуете, което не искате да ви кажа, да може всеки да е да може да ви кажа някъде, а не само да е една така на среща. Let me first answer to the gentleman uh, who uh, has uh, an, a company and who would like this company to grow. Um, I have heard yesterday another uh, a lady uh, who also has a company and wants it to grow with very good ideas and she's as desperate as you, mostly concerning research and working together. Now, I can tell you I'm going to take this message back to my colleague who is responsible for research and my colleague who is responsible for the financing of the small and medium-sized industries. Because it is not normal that you, who are those who create the jobs for you, uh, are not capable to do that because the money which the taxpayer has put at your disposal is not coming to you. I promise you we are going to have a look at that. Because I want to tell to this young man here, uh, you see, youth unemployment, this is a question which I got everywhere and you can imagine um, uh, even stronger than in this country. You are at 20 8% youth unemployment. I was speaking in Salonika with uh, Greek uh, men and women who are at 60% uh, youth unemployment. And that is a scandal. And that because we cannot leave a lost generation to follow this generation. So we have to work on that. And in order to be capable to work on that, we need people like him who creates a company because the small and medium-sized industries are the ones who at 98% in Europe created jobs. So we have to help those to develop. And that is what we have now with the European Investment Bank, brought in special um, guarantees so that the SMEs can get the money. We have brought in special guarantees so that the SMEs who employ young people get a special allowance, no? because we cannot, by decree or by law, say tomorrow we eliminate youth unemployment. That doesn't work. We have to create employment. And that is one of the things we are doing. So these two questions uh, go together. This is something we are taking in hand. Now, the other part of your question was on what I hear in this country since I arrived. Corruption, oligarchy, uh, no fairness in the institutions, and we are desperate. So this, in, in a nutshell, I hear it everywhere, with a lot of passion, with a lot of sadness, sotto uh, voce or with high voice, but it's always the same. And it is, um, well, a democracy cannot function like that. That is not mixing into Bulgarian I guess. Uh -huh. This is simply <laughs> an experience of 33, oh, 33 years in politics. If citizens do not feel that they, they are a part of institutions which act fairly and which treat fairly a problem, you get right or you get wrong, that's not the problem. But you are treated fairly. You are not treated because you are a member of that family or of that group, but because you are you. You, human being, having the same right as all the other human beings. And one of the reasons why we have not, in the European Union, eliminated the CBM. The CBM, you know, is this um, instrument which we keep alive in order to push the government to do the necessary reforms. I have been asked many times by this government, by the former government, uh, please get away with the CBS. And the answer, and the answer of the president of the commission was always the same, no. 
We are not going to get away with the CDM. We are keeping it in order to exercise pressure. Pressure on the building up of hair, equilibrated, independent institutions, which judge, which treat people according to the fact that they are citizens and not according to interests. And politics, at least the way I see politics, is service to the people, is not power for myself. I want to say that very clearly. And corruption cannot work. Thank you. 